Welcome to Leading Life, the show all about living to the fullest and leading life on your terms. You will learn tips, tools, and strategies for achieving total personal transformation. I'm Bren. And I'm Cam. This is Leading Life. Hey, hello, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Leading Life. We really appreciate you clicking on the button and listening to us talk. Oh, totally. Thanks again for everyone who <laughs> reviewed us on iTunes. Yeah, that's huge. Seriously, we'll, we we check out every single comment on, on uh, iTunes, on Facebook, on YouTube, on our website, all that stuff. So make sure to leave us a comment and stuff and let us know what you think of the show. For sure. Let's uh, dive into it, I guess. Oh, we're diving deep in on this one. (laughs) Look, I got a great topic for this week. This one has really been a huge game changer for me, so I'm I'm really passionate about sharing this one with you guys. Um, Last week, what did we talk about last week, Cam? Uh, Last week was how to build unstoppable confidence in any skill. So if you are, you know, you have a speech coming up, you have a big game coming up, or anything where you have to be on your game and confident and and act boldly go check out that episode it's got a lot of good information i've used the tools in that episode multiple times i guess brennan said he was using those tools as well so i was i'm using them for this episode right here today (laughs) awesome all right check it out this one's gonna be a good one and this one is really we're gonna help you discover your purpose discover your meaning of life and this one's really important because i mean whether you have a purpose for your life you know why you're here you know you've got a destiny you know you know you have a mission to fulfill or you don't you're just kind of going with the flow letting things happen living life as it as it happens and just seeing what happens either way you could really benefit from having some sort of purpose and being here on this planet for a reason and and you get to decide that reason you get to decide your purpose in life and that's really what we're going to help you do today so this is a huge topic how do you um, feel about purpose? I feel amazing about purpose. I just have a question. <laughs> well, yeah, I love purpose, man. I love uh, asking you how you feel about everything. Yeah. Oh, I feel good. good. Um, I have a question. What would you say to people, like real quick, about people who already have their purpose, but they don't know what to do with it? Are you going to explain that or is that another episode? <laughs> well. That's another episode, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, like on this show, I want to I wanna help you. If you already have a purpose or not, really, this is information that will help you. And again, like repetition is the mother of skill. If this is something you've already heard before, listen to it again. And then when you're done, press play on this podcast and listen to it again. Because the more you, the more you listen to things, the more you watch things, the more you observe. It's a form of learning. Observation is a form of learning. So spend time watching. Spend time listening. <clears throat> um repeat repet- repetition all that stuff it's the mother of skill you know I, I'll, re- I'll repeat that a couple times too so you remember that repetition <laughs> is the mother of skill right repetition so it's the mother of skill <laughs> <laughs> i remember uh the the four words hal elrod said were like one of the f- like worst words you could possibly say which is i already know that Ooh, ouch <sighs> i already know that because you know i already know that completely closes your mind to new information whether you, you know, even if you do know it already, you completely close your mind. That's why you see all the most successful people are humble. They're like, oh, I don't know everything. I want to learn more. Yeah. You know? It's a constant journey. It's crazy. It's a constant journey. And I've been there. I've been that skeptical guy who, who says, you know what? There is no meaning to life. You know, I know everything. I already know science and I know that, yeah. I know that we're just stardust and I know it's like, that nothing matters and it's all over and it's all a, a, a a hologram or it's all you know it's not real it's and i was really really skeptical about this whole idea of purpose and so that's why it's been such a game changer for me when i finally decided what my purpose of life is and i'm not saying mine is the same as yours or it's the same as cam's or it's the same as steven's really the purpose for your life is going to be it could be completely unique or you could just copy somebody else's purpose doesn't have to be complicated okay so finding your purpose is really your greatest power and that's why this episode is going to be so important and it's it's something i'm really passionate about so let's get into this you have any questions cam well this episode is also um it's also like a fundamental key to what else we're going to talk about in the series like we're you need to know your purpose in order to do the thousands of things we're going to tell you to do yeah. We're going to help you do on the, on this episode or on this podcast. So, and this, this is pretty general too, finding your purpose, but I want to, I want to reassure, reassure you that it's really not complicated and it's not a big process. It's not something you have to, to overthink or you have to stress yourself out about whatsoever. Like this is just something that you decide right now, this is my purpose and you start living it right now. 
without even thinking about it. And you, you know what? You're probably already living your purpose, with, but you haven't articulated it yet. Or you haven't said, okay, this is my purpose. This is the way I'm going to live 100%. And when you, when you articulate it, when you decide on it, it just helps your brain to say, yeah, automatic, this is what I'm going to do. A great example um, Cam brought up one time was the example of uh, that. Robots. The robot and Wally. Yeah, yeah. So if you've ever seen Wally, Wally's just this dirty robot who just like comes in on this clean ship and just messes the place up. So basically this is the future, right? So there's robots everywhere doing everyone's work and while there's fat people laying around and like being lazy because robots do all the work. So then uh, you just see a bunch of robots and Wally comes in on this clean ship and just rides around on the floor and there's dirt trails and stuff like that. But then there's this one robot who has been programmed to clean the floor. It's pretty simple. But, but what I see is this guy who does not quit He's there for the entire film, just cleaning things. Like when Wally dies later on, he just kind of like starts cleaning them because <laughs> it's just what he does. You know what I mean? So it's just an example that when you're on purpose, you're just on your game. You think of mm. nothing else. You're just, you're doing nothing but cleaning the floor. If that's your purpose, if yeah, your purpose like, is a clean floor, you will do nothing but clean it. <laughs> yeah. We really want to help you work like that. Like work like a robot and find your purpose and follow it and don't mm-hmm. let anything stop you break through whatever it is stopping you. in the in the example of this this robot right no matter he's on a planet is he not he's on that planet with all the junk and all the dirt and all the garbage and yeah, he's Wally. still and he's still cleaning stuff up yeah even though even though they don't like care about it anymore he's still doing his job cleaning the planet up oh my it's crazy he does not quit that's his job that's his and, purpose and it's not to say we want you to be robots and work for everyone it's to say that you pick your program and you live it on a day-to-day basis and you enjoy it you enjoy it so much it just fulfills you and we Mm -hmm. we have to talk about how to um make your purpose fulfilling because i know a lot of people they 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 think they have their purpose and then two weeks later they just give up they're like ah no i'm I'm over that i'm not into it anymore oh slow down slow down we'll get into we'll get into that later on probably so yeah we want to we want to get you to work like robots. Like we said, work on your purpose and do just that, but that not so much like robots. You also got to be flexible. Remember you're human, right? I mean, if you're listening to this, you're probably human. I don't know if you're some other <laughs> animal species, whatever, with, yeah. with the ability to understand what we're saying right now. The, I think, uh, we don't want you to kind of do the same thing on a day to day basis. Cause then that'll get redundant and boring. We kind of just want you to live your life in alignment with your values, with your purpose. Because yes. if, if your purpose is just to be a really nice guy and be the best family man you could possibly be, uh, that's obviously going to influence the way you live your life, right? Purpose is, is your greatest power. And I remember I was listening to a Tony Robbins audio tape and he was talking about, and I'm paraphrasing here, I don't remember it that well, but I remember Tony was talking about a guy named Victor Frankl. Victor Frankl, and he wrote this book called Man's Search for Meaning. And I haven't read this book um, as like... As many times as Tony has suggested you read this book, I still have yet to read it, but I can't wait to get into it. Um, But he talks about how Viktor Frankl was in Nazi Germany, in the concentration camps. Yeah, he was in a Nazi concentration camp, and he just observed. I think he was a psychologist or something along those lines, and he just observed the difference in people's minds between the people who survived and the people who died in the concentration camp. And he observed, like, what was their mindset? Why did these people survive and why did these people die? And um, he noticed that the people who died, died because they didn't see tomorrow. They didn't even think about it. They were like, this is the end of the line. It's game over, man. Like, we're not going, we're done. But those people who survived had a meaning. They had a meaning behind why they were in there. Mm -hmm. They found purpose behind that. They were like, when this is done... I'm going to go tell my family, make sure this never happens ever again. Right? So the difference between death and surviving was having a purpose. Oh, a hundred percent. It's so, so, so essential. <clears throat> like, think about it. If you're in that situation, right? You're, I mean, just put yourself there for a second. And I could understand if this is really hard to do or almost impossible because it's almost imaginable of well, what these people have gone through in those, in those concentration camps, but think about it, right? You're there and everywhere you look, there's death and odds are you, you could die as well. What's your, what's your thought process? Are you the type of person to say, 
it's over. There's no chance. I would be an idiot to to think I could get get out of this. You know, there's no possible way I'm going to live. I give up. Kill me now. It's over. I'm just going to die. Or are you the type of person to say, look, yeah, it's not looking really good. I, I'm being realistic here. I understand it doesn't look good. But no matter what happens, no matter the outcome, I'm here for a purpose. And when this is all over, I'm going to fulfill that purpose. And my purpose is to share this message. My pur- purpose is to make sure this never happens ever again. I mean, think about it. Who would survive in that situation? It's like the, the, the optimist versus the pessimist. When, the, when, when things go bad, the optimist says, Oh, it's not that bad. Let's do it. Come on. It's not that bad. Let's go. Come on. What's the pessimist say? Oh, see, I told you. I told you. This sucks. You know, it's over. Ha. Huh? Told you. Yeah, I give up. I quit. And so the odds of the pessimist moving forward in life, the odds of the pessimist getting what they want, there's no odds. It's, it's, it's very low, very slim to none. The odds of the pessimist and the pessimist, or sorry, the, the odds of the optimist making, through, making it through this, the optimist has a purpose. And it's, it's a game, man. Like it's games game. are problems, right? So like the optimist wants to play the game. The pessimist doesn't even want a part of it. He's just like, I don't want to play. Like, why am I even here? You know? And that's, you got to have a purpose is what we're saying, yes. basically. <laughs> oh, 100%. And, and we'll do, I really want to do an episode on the optimist versus the pessimist because I, I used to be the pessimist, 100%. Now I try to be a, as optimist as possible. I mean, I'm still, and optimists are, are realistic too. And that's that's the argument, you know. Okay, sorry. I can't get into this. I can't get into this. Yeah, no, you Guys, know what? So we're going to do an episode on optimist versus pessimist. But right now, you need to discover your purpose before anything else. And that's what we're going to help you do right now, right? Let's do it. Let's not get sidetracked. <laughs> we always will. We always will, but we, it's because we just, we got so much to talk about. There's so much value that we want to add to your life and it's just hard to shut us up. Finding your purpose, discovering your purpose. Now I wrote down five rules for discovering your purpose, five steps, five rules, five tips, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I want to clarify real quick that this isn't your, your, your mission. This is just your purpose. And the difference between mission and purpose, we're going to do an episode on that too, but really your mission is like what you're doing and your purpose is like why you're doing it. And that's the big thing here is we're getting behind the why. So five steps for discovering your purpose. Step one, discover what it is that you love to do. Like what are your passions? What do you love to do? What do you love to, who do you love to be? And the idea is really to ful- do what fulfills you, right, Cam? Like, could you give me an example of this fulfillment in in yourself? This is really self fulfillment. What fills you know? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be loving? Do you want to be um, hyper passionate, excited? Whatever it is for you, this is all about you. The first step, right? So. Give give me an example. Like, do you have a purpose for your life, Cam? Oh, absolutely. My purpose is to empower people and make a huge difference. Just make the world better and entertain. So when it comes to finding your purpose, take note of those moments where you just feel ecstatic. Like every fiber of your being is vibrating at the happiness level, the love level. Like I'm just so alive, right? Yeah, I just and want that's, to scream like, whoo! Yeah, yeah, like that kind of thing, exactly. And um, so what I did when I, um, I talked about my vegan speech last week on the podcast, I talked about um, how well it went, right? But my reaction after that was just like, I just felt alive because I really made a difference. Two of the people in that room became vegetarian because of me. Actually three, one vegan, two vegetarians because of me. And I just felt like I just saved so many animals, so many like natural resources. Like I just felt like I really contributed and I really made a difference and it just felt so good. Yeah. It helped to plant the seeds. So really what you're doing there is step one and two, because step one is what is it that you love to do? Find out what it is to love that you love to do and put it in your purpose, you know, your mission or your, your passions, right? Put that into your purpose. And step two is, is make sure it fulfills other people. So if step one is, you know, do what fulfills you, step two is do what fulfills other people. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're constantly just trying to to think about and worry about yourself and 
and take care of yourself and fulfill yourself and get better yourself and it's all about you 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 it's not it's not fulfilling at all because it's not fulfilling at all because at the end of the day you know who are you going to share that with who are you going to spend that with and i found this out myself because on my early journey of becoming my greatest version my early journey of doing what i can to be my best i pretty much stopped talking to everybody Mm -hmm. I like, it was like, yeah, nobody else, everybody else has got to go. It's all about me right now for the next two, three months, because I was in such a, I was in such a dark place. I had to just focus on me. I had to come out of there and I had to forget about the people around me and just focus on me. But you know what? At the end of those two, three months, sure. I was, I was better myself. I I'd made so much progress, but then I was lonely. Then I was really lonely and I, I didn't feel like I was really adding value to anybody else's lives other than my own. And so that's when my mission became from just focus on me and become my greatest version. And it became just similar to what Cameron said there is I want to fulfill other people. I want to empower people, entertain people. And that is a huge distinction for me because like I said, life's about we, not just me. And you have to remember that because if your purpose is all about you, it's not going to take you very far. Well, I mentioned in uh, Conscious Concepts. The, my YouTube show on implicit empowerment. I mentioned um, how when you when you do something or you get something or you achieve something, you really just share it with somebody. Like you don't feel really good. You like live it twice when you tell somebody, "Dude, I did this." Like feel awesome because of it. Or man, I found this. I want you to. I want to bring pay that forward and show you. Or hey, look at the new suit I have. You know, I. You're not just gonna sit in your room and strut in front of the mirror. You're going to go out and have other people look at it. It's like, it's, it's a part of the human psyche where you identify with what other people see in you and you kind of, it brings you up, you know, and that's basically the same thing you were saying. You, you felt lonely. You felt like you needed to share. You needed to be with people. You needed people to see you and how you've changed so that yeah. you can impact other people. Yeah. And it's, it's like, I, I made so much progress myself in my life and I could kind of see it, but at the same time I was I was really, I just wanted to share it with other people and mm -hmm. I wanted other people to, to understand what I was going through. Like I want, really wanted other people to see like, yeah, I was down here. I was depressed. I was contemplating suicide, the whole, the whole depression thing. But I, when I broke out of that, it was like, it was a rebirth. It was like a reawakening. I just had to share this with people because really the, the game changer was I discovered my purpose. And it, like those two months, three months I spent on my own kind of just doing my own thing, not, not spending too much time with other people. It wasn't until I found out my purpose that I got out of my, out of my shell and said, look, I need to share this. I can't keep this to myself anymore because I had, I had gone from depression to on top of the world. And I just thought, look, man, if I keep this to myself, if, if this is just for me and I'm doing it all for me, for me, for me, for me. Who am I going to share it with? And, and anytime I do share it, I'm going to seem like I'm arrogant or, yeah. or self-centered because it's all me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. But and then it wasn't until I changed my purpose from, you know, be my best, do my best, become the greatest version of myself to to sharing that with others and really doing that, not just for myself, that wasn't the purpose, but to be the example for other people and a way to discover what your purpose is when it comes to other people is well, how do people look up to you, right? Do you have like, do you have people in your life who look up to you in one way or another? Like, are you a person who is, who is extremely generous or extremely loving or selfless or happy or whatever it is for you or just like funny, right? Do you, do you put a smile on people's faces? Do you make them laugh? For me and Cam, really, it's entertainment. Since we were kids, we were always singing and yeah. and and acting and making up funny funny stories and and funny little songs and beatboxes and stuff, right? Like Cam, well, let's break out one right now. Ready? Ready? You, you're gonna find your purpose, man. Purpose. Now you listen to the Lean Life Podcast. We're gonna get you 
on your purpose, man. And we're gonna keep rapping because we don't. This is cringe. This is so bad. This, this is cringe worthy. Cringe worthy. P- that's, so they call bad. it cringe rap when they're like, "Oh, dude, that's so. That's not good. <laughs> that's just not. Oh, stop, stop rapping. Oh, stop, turn it's that. Off this it's po- that kind of rap. Turn off this podcast. It's that kind of right rap. Now. We're keeping it in just so you know what cringe is like. You guys did not just rap on this podcast. Okay, we just we just. No, but it's true though. All right, we've always wanted to entertain and like we've always wanted to make people feel better. And it's and it's it's helped us discover our actual purpose, which is to make people feel on top of their game. Yeah, you know? and as embarrassed as we are right now for that 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 cringe worthy rap, it, it might have put a smile on your face, it might have made you laugh, it might have just made you cringe. <laughs> <laughs> they Either. probably cringed at how awful it was and they were like, you know what? That's kind of funny. Oh. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> hilariously cringe worthy. <laughs> so Step one and two is really, step one, discover what fulfills you, add that into your purpose. Step two, discover what you do to fulfill others, add that to your purpose. And step three, simplify it like crazy. And the reason I say simplify it is because too many of us have this idea that the purpose of my life is to get married to have kids to get a great job a boy and a girl to be exact yeah a boy (laughs) and a girl maybe maybe uh twins and then have uh get a great job and make a bunch of money and buy a big house and retire on the beach and uh and party and and uh die right and that's that's a lot of our purpose but the problem with that is you can't do all that in a day and I'm trying to argue right now that your purpose should be something that you could do every single day, every single minute of every day without an exception. Because the reason you want to make this, you want to make this easy. You want to set up the game to win. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're, you're saying, this is my purpose. I got to do this long list of things. And deep down, you know you can't do all that right now. And so you live in this 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 state of expectation or the state of like, of like, wow, my life's not the way it should be. I'm not living my purpose. My purpose isn't for the next 20 years. And it's, it's sad. It's like you get to write your own test, your own exam. And most people are making the exam impossible to complete. (laughs) It's exactly that. It's exactly that. For example, my purpose for a long time, no joke, growing up as a, as a kid with, with not a lot of money and not a lot of, of happiness and not a lot of anything really. My purpose was to become the greatest guitar player I know, the greatest singer I know, go and perform for millions of people, write 50 records and release them and sell millions of copies, become a huge rock star. And it was just a joke. It was like, I had to do all these things before I'm happy. I just, it doesn't make any sense. You want to make a purpose so easy that when you fulfill it right now or in the next minute or the next five minutes, it puts the biggest smile on your face. Like Cam said, The whole purpose of this is to get those feelings, those feelings of, ah, like, you know, stomach's going up and you're you're so happy. You're just like, ah, you can't help but smile or laugh or scream or woo, whatever it is for you, right? (laughs) You need to be able to live that every single day. And if you turn your purpose into this long list of things you got to accomplish before you could feel those feelings, you're, you're not setting up the game to win. You're setting up the game to lose. And that could be the reason why people are depressed. I mean, I'm going to say it is the reason why people are depressed, man, because they feel like there's no hope in the future because the future is this big thing that I want that won't happen. No, that's literally the people in the concentration camp. Literally, that's exactly what it was. They felt like there was zero hope. Yeah. And and they gave up. And no sense of going anywhere. They're like, we are stuck. Dead end jobs. People hate that. Um, people who are unemployed and can't find a job. People who are just stuck at the same income. It's like in nature, man. I talk about nature a lot in Conscious Concepts. But um, if you look into the nature, there is no sense of staying the same. Everything is transitioning. Everything is either growing, dying, um, being born. Like it's just, there's nothing staying the same. It doesn't exist. And when it does, people are depressed. Yeah. Life's about movement and change and I don't know. I grew up with this sense that, you know, I don't want life to change. I grew up with this sense that I never want to grow up. I never want life to change. And it wasn't until I accepted that life moves on, life changes, just like you say in nature. You cannot look in nature and see the same thing that does not change. Rocks, rocks, diamonds, it all changes. It all goes from this state to this state, from here to there, and embrace that. And 
yeah, it's about setting up your purpose so simple that you could accomplish it right now. Set up the game to win. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. I, I fall into this trap so many times and Cameron will tell you, I'm really hard on myself. I demand a lot from myself as a person. And sometimes it makes me sad. Sometimes it makes me depressed because it's like, hey, Bren, you have to do this, this, and this, and this, this. You have to do all these things and then you could be happy. And I come up to Cameron like, Cam, no, I can't be happy yet. I got to do all these things. He's like, dude, slow down. Take a breath. What's your purpose? You know, just remember to calm down. It's going to be okay. Make your purpose simple. Make it present in this moment, present moment, livable today, right now. Write this down. Articulate your purpose. Write it down and read it over and over again. I want you to commit this to memory because when you commit it to memory, it's like it's ingrained in your soul. It's ingrained in your brain. And I want you to review this daily. I read my purpose to myself two, at least two times a day. And I'll tell you my purpose right now to help kind of help you articulate things. And really the purpose of my life is to, well, it's hard to say because I change the purpose of my life sometimes. And that's what I'm saying. You could change the purpose of your life. You don't, this isn't set in stone. You could change it. But the purpose of my life really for a long time, the purpose of my life was to be at my best. And so Make it that simple. Review it every single day because when you review it daily, it becomes ingrained in you and you don't even have to think about it anymore. It's subconscious. The next time a conflict comes up or some sort of decision that you have to make, you you go back to your purpose and you say, look, my purpose is to be at my best and make the world an even better place. Follow that. Cam, what's your purpose, man? My purpose is to entertain, empower, and create and share. I just have a bunch of words that I use. <laughs> oh, and again, like... That I like I like that you mentioned that because it really does not have to be so um, formal. Yeah, mine isn't like a quote. It's just like entertain, empower, share, create, love. It's just a bunch of words. For yeah, me. like sometimes I'll just I'll just say you know my purpose is to go crazy, to be outrageously happy, hyper, passionate, to empower, serve, and impact as many lives as I can with my music and my message. Now that's the articulated version, right? That's the that's the version I wrote Sounds down. Sounds like a Bible verse. That's amazing. <laughs> that's the version I wrote down and, and memorized. But I could also say, you know what? My purpose is to love life, to just be excited, to be passionate, to jump around, to go crazy, to be happy, to inspire others, to be someone that other people look up to as a person of, of, of influence, positive influence, a person of love, happiness, whatever. And you could tell I'm just ranting now, but it's all basically means the same thing, right? And you could steal any of those if you want. Uh, you could write it your own. You could steal cameras, just empower and entertain people. It's up to you. This doesn't have to be complicated. I can't stress this enough. I, may, I might be making it a little bit too complicated, but really. I, I think even you don't even need to add language to it if you don't want to. If you just have this feeling that you can't explain, make that your purpose. To yeah. feel that on a daily basis because there's a feeling of contributing and creating and empowering and entertaining all together that creates a word that I don't even know. You can create a word. Look, thank you again for tuning into this episode of Leading Life. This again, this is such an important one for me. My purpose, my passion is to to share this, is to help other people articulate their purpose and, and love life. So, Cam, what's your last outro words what thank you, you so much leave a review on itunes it helps us more than you know and we appreciate you guys listening and watching more than you know honestly because ah like you can share things all you want but if no one's there to extract the value then it's pointless so we thank you so much for doing this yeah seriously i mean i can't even express how much joy it gives me to know that i'm sharing what has changed my life there's a camera on my face, a microphone in front of me, and people are listening because that's how I learned to change my life is listening to other people and taking in that advice and being open-minded. And that's what you're doing here. And it just, I've got so much respect for you. I feel like we're like, you know what I mean? This is what we do. Oh. We watch podcasts. We listen to podcasts. Absolutely. And people are, are, are watching and listening to There's a to connection our here, man. There's a huge Absolutely. connection. So, you, look, might, you might say that we changed your life, but really you're oh, changing ours right now. Like we're all changing each other's lives. That's just how it goes. Yeah, seriously. Thank you so much. I can't even, we could say thank you so many times. As long as you, you, you get it. Like <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you. So we will see you on the next one. Yes. 
next episode of Leading Life. That's your challenges. Show up for the next episode and uh, comment. Please comment on this video. Comment on our website. Comment on iTunes. We want to know what your purpose is. How did you articulate it? Did you borrow one of our purposes or did you, you kind of mix it up or did you create a word and make up your own purpose? I don't know what it is for you, but let us know. Thank you.